Hello, I'm Dr. Ray. Hi, and I'm Eric, and we want to thank you for tuning in today. We're going to talk about something uh, that is super important for men, and that's how to get respect from other men and how that respect ties into your success not only in life but with women. Uh, so, Dr. Ray, you want to tell us what does that mean to, to build respect from, from so I'll just give you kind of what what you could do to get respect and talk a little bit more about that. So the first one is take personal responsibility. And taking responsibility means that when you do something, when you decide that you are making that choice and you own up to that, do not waver. And that means that if you commit to something, don't waver. Um, be very clear. You know, Be decisive. Be honest and authentic. And that might mean where... A man might not like you. People might not like you, but you're transparent. You're not afraid. Which it, it what happens is that when a I'll give you an example. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this, but uh, this person who became my best friend in, in high school is. I remember we were hanging out, and I had my combat boots on, and um, you know a lot of people kissed my ass back then. I played in this punk band and so forth, and he was a rebel, and he happened to spit. And almost landed on my foot, my boot. And I looked up at him. And he looked at me. He's like, yeah, it was me. And I went, I started laughing. We became best friends because he, he, he owned his balls. And so we were able to trust each other, be honest with each other. Because even if we were going to upset the other person, if we upset the other person or uh, we we're afraid of hurting him, that less, at least they knew we were honest with them. Uh, the next one is don't talk crap about other people. So if you are one of those men who gossip about other people, other men, and so forth, that person's going to think that you might say the same thing about him or her. Okay? Have a positive outlook on life. Like be a philosopher. You know, uh, just when I mean be have a positive outlook on life. When you complain, you appear as being a victim. When you appear as being a victim, you appear as being feminine. Men don't trust you and women don't trust you. And also just negative energy brings people down. So being positive, another man feels as though that when they talk to you, it's going to add, it's always going to add value to the conversation. You're going to lift them up. And I think this, every conversation you have with a person, it should be the experience of where two people come together, they relate, and they learn and grow from that. Otherwise, if you're just complaining, you're taking energy, you, that man will not respect you. And the last one is to have your own code of ethics, meaning your purpose, like why you're here, why you showed up, beyond the circumstances that happened, uh, beyond someone breaking up with you or you losing your job, but you show up no matter what for some reason. And those things will get the respect from other men at work or in relationships, such as Eric mentioned. Yeah, I know it's funny, uh, as you're saying this stuff, I'm thinking it's not only, this is, a, it's funny, everything is connected. So this goes far beyond getting respect from even other men, because I think this is a good place to start, though, because a lot of men, well, I mean, men want to attract the type of woman that they want, their ideal woman. And a lot of times, <clears throat> they, a lot of times they think in terms of like, what do I do to attract her? But really, if you think about these specific things, if you don't have respect from other men, you're not going to get respect from women. Right. Because it's, it's all the same. It's all the same thing. Like feminine women are going to look for these same qualities. They're going to want someone who takes responsibility. It doesn't waver. That's honest and authentic. They have a positive outlook on life and that have like a code of ethics and a sense of purpose and direction in life. I mean, like what woman, like women would be like, yes, please. Where is that guy? You know, so the cool thing is when you start to really connect to these things and, and awaken those things, be really becoming congruent in all your, how you communicate, how you show up to the world, how you do business, how you date. You're congruent with your who you are truly um, on the inside. And sometimes you don't really know what that is until you are able to connect to your purpose. Um, and don't you, I know like, because you have a course for, um, for men, um, you took, uh, I was there, you took a whole you know, room full of men and uh, they had basically these common problems, you know, connected to masculinity, not getting the respect. And you took them through a bunch of exercises, a bunch of information, uh, in about a four-hour period. And uh, they it had was a, it was a we, it was because we were videotaping. It was about easily a ten-hour workshop. We crammed into five hours. <laughs> yeah, no, it was definitely jam-packed. It was yes, there was a lot sure. in there. Yeah, so it it basically goes through all what I just shared about really stepping into your masculinity, so you gain respect from other men. It teaches yeah. you. There's there's techniques 
in there where you you there's some written stuff, but a lot of it has to do with really you connect into your body so you feel that presence in your body. Because the true thing that we're talking about, men respect other men who are present. Present. And present mm-hmm. means like you're not wavering, you're right there. You know, you don't yeah. budge, you don't run from uh, problems. Well, yeah, and that's precisely what I liked about the course is that it's not only the information, you're not only painting the pretty picture of what could be the ideal of, of how your life should be, but you also you, you give the recipe over on the side. Like here's the here's some to do, some action items, and I, men really appreciate that because we like to get from from A to B, have a process to go through. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we'll post the link right here in the video. We can check out that course and listen. I you will benefit from it. Trust me. If if any of what we're saying resonates with you, if you if you know that there's areas that you can improve on on having kind of the respect and and uh, of of other men, of other people in your life, if you want to attract what there's more money, success, um, higher quality women in your life, uh, then you have to connect to these principles. And in today's society, it's it's honestly quite elusive because the pop culture, the media, everything is sending a lot of mixed messages, a lot of things that are going to steer you in the wrong direction. So this is an opportunity to get re- reconnected to your true primal masculine self and, and, and show up as that that hero in the world, in your personal life and in the people around you. Um, so check out the link here and go uh, uh, buy that course. It's an extremely small investment. Uh, and and if, believe me, if you knew what Ray charged for personal coaching, uh, even your, if, even an hour uh, to be able to meet with Ray, like the, the, the price of the course is just, it's insanely, it's ridiculously low. It probably should be a lot more. Uh, but uh, we'll put the link here. You can check that out. And do you have any final words to say for this video, Ray? If you uh, like this video, just please like it and share some comments. In, and, and also share comments if you want us to, to touch on maybe another topic. But that's it. You know, um, appreciate you watching the video. Awesome. Well, thank you, Dr. Ray, for your time, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time definitely to talk about this subject. Thank you.